Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 46th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to build a shell script that extracts information from the password file in the EDC folder in the file system and displays aid on screen in such a way that the user can understand. And um, I have my text editor here and I've saved this file in the home folder. It's called pinfo and has the extension sh. Now, one noticeable thing about the password file is that the delimiter between the fields or the separator is not the space character or the tab character but is the colon character. So somewhere in the script we will have to change the value of ifs but before we do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use echo to display a message on screen to the user and it's going to be to ask for a username and uh, this username has to be the username for which information is sought right. So I'll just type in enter username and uh, I'll put colon there and the slash c sequence. On the next line, I'll use read to store the input in a variable called log name. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use grep to extract that line of information from the password file, which consists of the username that has been just provided to us. And the way to do that would be grep space dollar log name and dollar log name here consists of the input that has been provided. And then I'll have to type in the path of the file in which I want this pattern to be searched. And that's going to be slash etc slash pa double s wd. And what I'll do is I'll uh, assign this uh, line of information to a variable called line. And uh, since I'm concerned with the output of this command, I'll have to put the entire expression within uh, reverse quotes, right? And uh, on the next line, I'll change the value of ifs and I'll uh, give it the value colon because that's what the field separator is between the fields in each row in the password file and now we can set our positional parameters with the value that's stored in the variable line. Remember line here contains information about the user whose username has been provided as input in the shell script. So set space dollar line will do the job for us and now since our positional parameters are set we can echo them out one by one on screen and uh, since the username field is the first field, its value must have been stored in the positional parameter $1. And that's why I've used my echo statement on line 6 to first display a word username and then the value that's stored in the positional parameter $1. And uh, on, on line 6, I have one echo statement. On line 7, I'll display the uh, user ID. And I have skipped the password field because uh, if you guys remember, the password is always encrypted and it is denoted by the character X in the uh, password file. And that's true for not just uh, the user accounts, but also for system accounts. So root will also uh, have an encrypted password and uh, all the other system accounts will have encrypted passwords and you will have an encrypted password as well. So there's no point just showing the symbol X on screen for the password, right? If you guys want, then you can show a message like the password is encrypted, but I don't think that's required. So we're skipping the password field, which was the second one. Now we have to display the third field, which is a user ID field, and its value must have been stored in the positional parameter $3. So that's what we're gonna echo out. On the next line, I'm gonna display the group ID field, and since that's the fourth field, I'll type in $4 here, and the next field is the comment field and that's the fifth field so I'll echo out dollar five and the next field is the field for the home folder right and uh, since it's the sixth field its value must have been stored in the sixth positional parameter so dollar six and the last field is the field for the default shell and uh, it's the seventh field and its value must be in dollar seven so there you go i've uh, saved the script and i'll bring up my terminal here and i'll execute it by typing in sh space p info dot sh and uh, when i press the enter key the script asks me for a username and uh, since i'm uh, the only user on uh, this system and i haven't created any other user account i'll just type in my own name to see details about myself and when I press the enter key you see that I get all this information the username is mother the user ID is one triple zero the group ID is one triple zero the common field 
is the destruction tool and uh, the home folder is slash home slash mother and the default shell is uh, as you can see it's bash and uh, its entire path has been displayed so the reason why I created this script is because um, when you look at the contents of the password file you cannot make much sense out of it unless you know the meaning or the significance of uh, each of uh, the seven fields in each row right so in case you forget you can always uh, you know keep this uh, script file in your home folder or somewhere in your file system and you can execute it uh, and uh, have an idea about you know what the meaning of each field is i hope this uh, tutorial was entertaining for you i'll see you guys in the next one where we'll discuss something important again thank you so much for watching this one and i'll uh, see you in the next one please subscribe to my channel